Hey guys, my name is Ihana and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now I know I haven't posted a video in a little minute, but we're all self-isolating and quarantining and whatever you have to do for this little moment in time. And so I thought I would make use of that extra time that I have and make a video. Now, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be going through my camera collection and showing you guys all the cameras that have been passed on to me by my grandfather and some of the cameras that have been gifted. I did write down some notes on my laptop, so if I look down, please don't mind me. But we're going to see how much these cameras are worth today, how much they were worth when my grandfather brought them or whoever brought them, and some of this information I just couldn't find because the camera and the film is all discontinued. So, if you're interested in some of the cameras that I have that are from the 1970s, keep watching. So, the first camera that we have is the Polaroid Color Pack 3. It was made in the 1970s and I believe it was manufactured in the UK. As of 2019, this camera is valued at a whopping $9. I really thought that I was going to get some, you know, maybe I have this really rare expensive camera in my hands. It's, it's valued at $9. I mean, if it was any cheaper, you could get this camera at five and below. But that doesn't mean that it isn't a collector's piece. It just can't be sold for some big bank if I ever needed to. I also did some math on inflation and what this camera would have cost in the 1970s. And I believe this camera cost around $30. $30. But I guess with inflation, $30 in the 1970s is equivalent to $200 in 2020. So I guess that's a big buck for you. So this, it was popular, but it wasn't worth much. So don't get me wrong, I definitely thought about what it would be like to shoot with these cameras now. And I honestly don't even think it would be worth it because I looked up the film on eBay because that's the only place I could find it. And it was going for $70 for eight photos. $70. Somebody do the math. Where's my calculator? I don't even have a calculator. My phone is all across the room. So that is a good $8.75 per photo. Would you pay $8.75 per print? I don't think you would. So I don't know if I am. But, I mean, I did look up what some of the pictures look like from that camera and the link is in the description because I don't want to get copyrighted. If you're curious go check that link out and I will make sure that you guys have everything you need. The next camera that we have was the Square Shooter 2. There's this baby right here. This camera was manufactured in 1972 just a couple years after the Polaroid Color Pack 3. It is also manufactured in the UK and drumroll please this camera is valued at five dollars five dollars I mean I really don't know what I was expecting when I was researching this like oh extremely rare Polaroids congratulations you played yourself it was originally sold for $35 in 1972 so it was five dollars more than the color pack 3 which was produced two years earlier but um, with inflation, that is about $232 today. So this camera would, would have cost us, you know, a quick little 200 They don't even make the film for this camera anymore. It was some extremely rare person on eBay selling it also for $70. And I was just like... But the link will also be in the description if there's any pictures that you're interested in seeing from people who have posted them online. The next camera that I have is the Minolta Maximum SP-XI. This camera was a little bit harder to research. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, I couldn't find the manufacturing time. I kept getting lenses instead of the camera. And I was like, am I looking up something wrong? I really don't know. But what I did find... Is that it is worth more than the color pack, Polaroids, the square shooter, all of that. This camera could be sold right now for about $10 to $20. It just depends on who's selling it to you. 
It's original price. I also couldn't find, but I did find what it was sold for in 2003, which was $248, which would now be about $100 more, $347.2020. So this one, it looks very similar to like, you know, what we're starting to pay now for DSLRs. And I do think that this camera was made in the 1990s. So the next camera that I have is the Canon SureShot 85mm point and shoot. And that is this baby right here. Now honestly I didn't do much research on this camera because it seems like it's our standard point and shoot. What we were used to, you know, before we had the whole DSLR thing. When you just wanted to go to Six Flags and pull out your camera. But it wasn't a disposable if you were born before. 2002 maybe you would know what I'm talking about no shade to the you know to people born after but it just seems like the standard point and shoots so the next camera that I'm going to be showing you guys is my first real baby and that is the Nikon D3200 and that is this baby right here now this camera I believe was gifted to me when I was a freshman in high school I believe my aunt and uncle got me this camera and the only reason why I'm getting it confused is because I'm on my third camera right now. This was given to me almost six, seven years ago. When was that? 2014? Six years ago. Yeah. So, you know, I still have my baby. I have um the same lens that I'm using on the camera now, which is a Nikon. Um... The Nikkor 50mm, it doesn't have the autofocus, so I would have to pull the focus manual. It's a manual lens, but I mean, I just really wanted it for the 1.8 focal point. I'm starting to get a whole lot into the technical terms here, but yeah, that is the lens that I have on this camera. This will always be my first love. I did drop her the first day I got her, and I dropped her again in another situation sometimes I don't know why all my cameras seem to go down by being dropped don't drop your camera don't be clumsy like me but that's why we have warranties right I believe so but I mean I love this camera this camera you know she she got me through some things she was able to to do the things that I wanted her to do for the short amount of time but as I said in previous videos you start to outgrow your camera which is why you get new ones or if you're like me you accidentally may not accidentally have broken it and now you have to buy another camera. If anybody wants the price point of this camera, I honestly don't know because I didn't buy it. But honestly, it was probably somewhere around $300 to $500 at the time. At the time. The last camera that I have is the Nikon D3500. That is the camera that is my most recent one. I love it. It's doing me well. I'm a Nikon girl. I don't know why. It was just gifted to me and now I'm here and I just don't switch up on, on game. You hear me? So <laughs> that's all of my cameras. That is um, the little collection that I have and hopefully it grows and gets into more. I do also have a Polaroid. And I hope you check out the link to see what some of these pictures look like from the cameras. So without further ado, that is the end of this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one.